In episode 3 of Failure Frame, Oyamada is seen chasing after a creature to gain experience points. Meanwhile, Kirihara reaches level 18 after defeating a dragon. Kashima struggles with self-doubt as Ikusaba warns her about the challenges their class will face. Ikusaba explains the potential for factionalism and urges Kashima to align with her for survival. She stresses the importance of standing strong and hints at potential consequences in their world based on their actions here. Despite Kashima's lack of confidence, Ikusaba assures her they can work together effectively. In a test set by the goddess, Ikusaba's group helps Kashima pass, solidifying her place among them. Kashima, remembering Mimori, feels a sense of failure for not helping him in the past. In a different setting, Sogo wakes up and confronts Viseus, who apologizes for not saving Mimori during a ritual. Viseus explains that the ritual is a policy of the Kingdom of Alien, where those who cannot fulfill their duties as heroes must leave. Sogo disagrees with Viseus' methods and proposes to do her duty as an S-class hero to make up for the students who couldn't clear the test. Viseus agrees to her proposal. In the dark forest, a girl tries to escape from some men who want to have fun before delivering a message about the futility of resistance against the Holy Watchers. Mimori, assessing his abilities, realizes he can dismiss Paralyze and Poison at will. He expresses a desire to find a sword and someone to act as a tank for him. Seeing some slimes bullying another slime, he intervenes, using his abilities to paralyze and poison the bullies, then tells them not to attack before leaving. The bullied slime follows him, and Mimori identifies it as an outcast like himself. The girl, still pursued, decides to use her spirit regalia, offering her sleep as payment. Mimori encounters the men chasing the girl. They question who he is, and one suggests killing him instead of the girl. Ashura, one of the men, suggests catching the girl to use her at a brothel, while another suggests grabbing a good-looking girl from a nearby town to break her spirit. They demand Mimori drop his valuables and prepare to die. Begging for his life, Mimori uses his paralyzed skill, and the man approaching him falls to the ground. Mimori reveals his status ailment skill is effective on humans, except for a certain goddess. He calls the men scumbags and uses his poison skill on them. The girl, sensing someone nearby, wonders if they are plotting something. Mimori paralyzes the girl and asks if she's after something. She asks if Mimori encountered a group of four, and he reveals he killed them. Surprised, the girl thanks Mimori for his honesty and offers to answer his questions. Mimori, thinking she seems like a good person, asks if he's in Alion. The girl reveals they are in a forest in the south of the kingdom of Olza, near the ruins of Disposal. Mimori shows her an ancient script, and she mentions knowing someone who might be able to read it, the Witch of Taboos, who has vast knowledge of the Forbidden and was driven from her homeland. She might be in the land of golden-eyed monsters. Mimori thanks the girl for the valuable tip and prepares to part ways. The girl thanks him for saving her life, revealing she cannot repay her debts. Mimori assures her they are even and prays for her safe travels. He mentions that he won't resort to pointless murder and only kills according to his own rules. He asks his slime companion, Pigamaru, to watch his back in case the girl comes after him. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.